Hey you guys, Ann Wood from Thistlewood Farms and I am here today to show you what I bought at a yard sale this weekend. Now y'all, in super exciting yard sale news, you know how some weekends you kind of have kind of a lame yard sale, it's not the best. This weekend, oh my gosh, I found one of my favorite finds that I've ever found yard sale, ever in the history of ever. And so I'm going to share it at the very end, but I also found a ton of other good stuff that's all around me right now. So first up, I want to show you this fabric. Um, I found this whole bolt at a yard sale. Look at how pretty. Let me hold it up so you can kind of see the pattern. It's actually velvet. So it's raised velvet with these squares. So pretty. The entire roll of fabric, y'all, was $3. Wait for it. $3. Okay. So next up, I found an entire box of blue and white china. You cannot go wrong with blue and white china. Um, and I just kind of dug through it and I was like, I might as well just buy the whole box because it was all cute. Um, so there was classic blue willow, which you cannot go wrong with um, blue willow. And I have no idea of the age or if any of it, I mean, I just collect blue and white. So if it has blue and white, I don't really, I have no idea of value or anything like that. But um, so of course, classic blue willow, you cannot go wrong. And then, it was so fun. I've never seen this pattern before. And it came with all of these salad plates too. And look at those stacked together. Look at how cute. I was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen um, this particular pattern before. But I mean, you can mix and match all of the blue and white. I have, actually, you know what? I'll put an entire blog post that I just photographed some of this on the dining room table. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all stacked together, but also in the box, which just goes to prove when you buy a box, you never know what you are going to find. So in the box, in the bottom were these little finger bowls and they came in different patterns. And I just thought, I don't have any, there was a set of eight of them. There were tons, tons, tons more China than what I have listed here. But I just thought these were really fun. Um, just kind of make a really pretty table. I don't know when I'm serving that I'd use finger bowls, but still cute, super cute nonetheless. Okay, now in the most random, unusual find news, you never know what you're going to find when you go to, never, ever, ever when you go to a yard sale, you know. So there was this um, kind of plastic bag and it had all of these moss rocks in there. And I think the whole bag, maybe $2, maybe $3, I'm not sure, but so many different sizes. They So they came in larger size, there was a medium size, smaller size. You can see here that the entire basket is full of these moss um, rocks. And I'm going to take them and layer them on my coffee table in the living room. I think they're really, really pretty. But then also, y'all, this basket, look at how cute. The basket was $5. This basket was $5. Now, it has this amazing rope trim. I don't know if y'all can see this, but it was kind of falling off. And I just took jute twine and just tied it back on to the top. But look at this basket. I actually um, am going to put it downstairs on my coffee table um, and put magazines, keep magazines in it. So I just loved it. I thought it was super fun. Find. Oh. Okay, now, in totally amazing news, I want to show you guys this. Look at this. This is not even my favorite find, but still a super cute one. Um, okay, so this is, I think the probably maps were stored in it at one time. I'm not really sure. But look, it's uh, metal. And I thought it would be perfect for putting my scrapbook paper. I thought it would be perfect for Oh my gosh, craft supplies. I mean, a zillion different things. And it even has some of the original labels on. I don't know if y'all can see that, but so cute. And the drawers open in and out like really nicely. I, I'm going to keep the original patina. I just think it is so, I couldn't believe I found it. It was such, and it was sitting there on the table kind of in the middle of the yard sale. And I was, I was like running over to the yard sale like, oh my gosh, don't let anybody else buy it. Don't let anybody else buy it. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. And then I kind of put my hand on it like this because just in case you are just starting to shop at yard sales, one quick tip for you is if you have your hand on something, that means that it should be yours. Okay, now I am about to show you my favorite find that 
for sure in 2020, 2021, since I didn't yard sell all in 2020, but for sure in 2021, potentially the entire decade, okay? Look, meet my chair. Look at this amazing chair. Y'all, it has this incredible, this is leather back here. So it's woven leather and it has these high sides and these arms that are just absolutely beautiful. Now I've kept the original price tag on because nobody's gonna believe me. So when I walked up to the chair, just in case you're curious how much I paid for this, and there's a set of two of them. There's another one that's just not in the picture, in the video I mean. But I walked up to the chair and I was like, Kind of I don't have my glasses on and I squint down and I look at the tag and I thought the tag said $220 and I was like oh okay for $220 for sure like I'm going to 100% get these I know it can say 220 it said $20 $20 y'all these chairs right here $20 $20 look at the amazingness I feel like I'm on the prices right look at my Meet my amazing chair, y'all. I said to my husband, grab $20 off of your, immediately pull it out. And he, of course, because he's amazing, he's not his first yard sale either. He totally takes the $20 out, puts it like this, and he hands it to the lady because I was worried she might change her mind. So, but she ended up being the kindest, sweetest lady and was so kind to me. And um, we took the chairs and put them in the car right away. So um, this set will be photographed down in the office. I'm going to take a little bit of um, like a kind of like, you know, that stuff that uses a stain pen and just touch up some of the places. But I don't mind. I like a little bit of patina um, on a yard sale find. Okay, now one last thing. Last week I showed y'all some of the finds that I found and I wanted to show you. And you're always like, what does she do with those finds? Okay, this is one of the finds from last week and I just want to show you what I did with it. We painted it white and I was gonna use it for picnic holders but then on the front of it I just put a raised glued a raised wooden monogram and just painted it in and I think it's just because you this is kind of the side that you see when it's sitting next to a chair so right now I have it with the magazines but I'm probably gonna take it out to picnics and different other fun stuff but just in case you're like does Cardian ever actually do anything with these yard sale finds Yes, yes, I do. So that is what I found this week at yard sales, and it was an amazing week. Be sure and stay tuned for tons more videos like this because yard sale season, season is upon us. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you'll know when I post a new video. And also, if you like this video, be sure and share it with your friends. And as always, y'all, have a day as amazing as you are.